Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Printed Word Inspiration Time. I am Evelyn E. Bass, your host. Today's topic is Facing Dilemmas in This Life. There are many crooks and turns we face as we walk in this journey of life. On many occasions, walking in this life, not knowing which way to turn, looking for the right solution through others, working extra hours, applying for new jobs, or even getting a second job. By doing this, we are exalting ourselves and failing to reach the goals in our life. There is a solution to solve our problem. Our answer is putting our trust in Jesus. One would say, how do we put our trust in Jesus? By following the words of the words he has given unto us for our lives. Placing our confidence in him, seeking his face, praying for directions. Don't give up because help is on the way. We have to listen. Obey his word to receive his abundant blessings in our lives. Our hope is in him. Keep it in mind, we are in this world, but not of this world. Let him lead and guide the way. The sincere prayer, the prayers of the saints of God, we must wait on him. He will not leave us nor forsake us. Our dependence must rely on Jesus. We must be honest with ourselves. Give up our will and repent. Let's take a look at example in the Bible, how one can, can turn from facing dilemmas in his life. The prodigal son. In Luke 15, 11 through 24. First of all, let's define prodigal. It's one who spends or give lavishly and foolishly. This is a sign of immaturity. As the scripture state in Luke 15 and 11, and the youngest of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of good, goods that followed to me. And he divided unto them his living. This goes to show sometime we can ask for things at the wrong time and end up regretting our decision. This was a result of his action. But because of the mercy of God was shown to bring a change in his heart. The Lord placed in his heart and gave him compassion kindness to bring him back to remember how he was treated and the love he received from his father. And he repented and regret his actions and how he played in the world system. In the prodigal son, leaving the father brought a lack of discipline, assurance, safety, love, the Holy Spirit, and the existence 
as being a honorable vessel in the kingdom of God. And verse 15 and 24. For this my son was dead, and he is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Let us remember this verse as we walk and continue to stay with Jesus. We need him every second of the day. Without him, we are walking dead among the living. Let us abide in his word daily and trust in him, for he is our source, not man or we ourselves. When we were baptized in Jesus' name, we belong to him. Let us surrender and serve him, even though we will be tested in our walk. We must diligently continue to stay on the path of righteousness. We will face oppositions, but our answer is God. As we face dilemmas, which will come, our hope and confidence must be in Jesus. We are overcomers because of him. His Holy Spirit dwells within us. Let him reign within us and keep his Holy Spirit to lead and guide the way. Remember these words this day. The first book that I will talk about today is Fun Time with Grand Mo Evelyn. Being surrounded with love ones, especially grandchildren, has a tremendous joy that is beyond one dream. To experience these precious moments have impacted my life, which I will never forget. Fun time with Grandma Evelyn has given me the opportunity to express my feeling and share with others the love and the exciting adventures to spend with your grandchildren. These are golden opportunity to see the growth and development of loved ones. Also reviewing their ideas you have the opportunity to listen to their ideas, their character, and their dreams for the future. Each moment spent together has uplifted my spirit and gave me a sense of belonging. As many grandparents I've heard said before, and this is the word they stated, what's left for me to do? I'm at this age. What can I do? The answer is enjoy your grandchildren by sharing positive experience, wisdom, and guiding their steps to become productive individuals. They were appreciated and remembered when they get older. The cost of spending time with our grandchildren are quality times. We can point out the importance of following guidelines, rules to become successful, and being prosperous using the Word of God. As many of you know, Wednesday is a special day for me to pick up my grandchildren from school. Just seeing their glowing faces when I pick them up and they have beautiful smiles excite my day. Their conversation 
has brought laughter to my heart as they discuss their daily activities and their love for one another. Let us, as grandparents, enjoy this special time with our grandchildren and remember the fun time of togetherness. We are unique with special qualities to give to our grandchildren. I'd like to leave you with this message today. Let the love flow through to the next generation from us. They will remember the fun time with their grandparents. Enjoy reading and listening to the music. Fun Time with Grandma Evelyn. The next book is Never Say Never. These songs are inspired from the Lord. While working in the early childhood program with young children ages two years to kindergarten, we engage in singing these songs with biblical stories to emphasize the importance of following and obeying God's words and applying the skills that was presented in each story. For example, the importance of telling the truth. One who is wise always tell the truth. Remember the story of Ananias and Sapphira in Acts 5, 1 through 11. Always tell the truth to the Holy Ghost. Your parents, your teacher, and the one who has authority over you. This story carries a powerful impact and will give a powerful impact to the, to the children and their lives and how to conduct themselves. The title of this series of music placed in our mind to never, to say never, say never, because we can do all things through Christ Jesus. There is a reason and a purpose for us to obey, to keep his commandments, and to abide in his word for success in him. Implementing the music and lyrics from Never Say Never will enhance your learning environment. They will sing and speak the words with confidence in Jesus and apply his words in their lives. These songs are compiled in a music book along with a CD that will bring a spirit of cooperation in your classroom, giving them the mind that will captivate their minds to a higher level of thinking. As we know, keeping a positive song with meaning in our heart would change the mindset. Even the adults will find themselves singing these songs, which will encourage them. Each song are easy to remember, bringing a powerful message to hold on to. Be sure to listen to each song and equip your music center, early childhood program, your faith-based organization, the children church choir with Never Say Never music project. The next book is Listen, the Lord is Speaking. There is a still voice that speak to us. We must listen and follow his instruction. He will speak his word 
that is in the Bible. During the beginning of holiness for me, the Lord spoke to me and I wrote down each word. His words has inspired me to continue and to depend on him. For he is my source and my shield. I learned through this period in life, I must sail out to him and totally depend on him for each problem I encounter by casting my cares on him. We are blessed people to receive his word, to hear his word, and apply his words in our hearts. When I was baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost, this was the best thing that ever happened to me. Remembering his words these particular words penetrated in my heart. Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. There's no greater love than the love of Jesus. To rise each morning with a song of praise in your heart. Bring great joy divine within my soul. Remembering all the great things the Lord has done for me. Placing me in this marvelous light to receive abundant blessings from him and has given unto us salvation. What a mighty gift to receive from our Father. I am so thankful to receive his word and to share with others. Let's listen to his words and follow him from earth to heaven this day. Here's a writing from Listen, the Lord is Speaking. The title of the writing is a new beginning. Life began with the master planner, the creator of all. Follow him to the end. He is the guiding light. The door is there. Open the door and enter in. Seek him. Follow after righteousness. All fullness dwells in him. There's no greater love. He will comfort and keep you through trials and tribulations. Endure until the end. He will never let you fall. Follow the master planner. Walk in joy. Walk in peace. Walk in hope and receive bountiful blessings from above. Walk in the Spirit. Place confidence in Jesus. Your life has begun. Live for Him. The next book, titled, The Spoken Word of God. The Spoken Word of God will captivate the mind to dwell in his presence and to embrace and hold on tightly each word you receive from him. His word has given insight with a deeper meaning and revelation given a clear picture to convey in our minds. Have you ever thought about what will happen after you no longer exist and leaving this earth? Where will you go? This question 
should ponder in our mind. We must consider what will happen. We shall ask ourselves this question. Are we living according to God's word? Let's think about this for a few minutes and listen carefully to these words. Playing the game too long in the world. Got caught up in the world system. Being trapped in a web and fell in a deep sleep. Now you're in a miserable state of mind. Wandering in a circle. Traveling from place to place. Just going around in circles. The question arose in your mind. What has happened to me? You began to cry out and giving thanks to God. Then one day, God showed compassion and with his finger of love gave you godly sorrow and true repentance to return to your first love, which is Christ Jesus. This is a day of rejoicing, being free from this world system. Let's abide and stand on the sure foundation. Don't play the world game and fall in a deep sleep, which lead to a destruction end. Listen to the spoken word of God this day. Here's our inspiration writing from the spoken word of God, entitled, Shield and Buckler. I shall continue to give praises unto the Lord. He is my shield and buckler. He guides me through the storms. His hand is upon me. I will continue to seek him. He is the answer, the only answer. There's no doubt in my mind. I live because of him. Shout hallelujah unto the Lord while the blood is running in your veins. His blood cleansed and made me whole. I thank God for the Holy Ghost that dwells within me. I shall continue to give praises unto the Lord. Remember these words today. Now, I'd like to leave you with some encouraging words. Today is the beginning of great success. I shall repeat, today is the beginning of great success. Stay on the path of righteousness and follow each word was given unto you. See the hand of God working in your life. Thank you for your support. Visit the website for books and download the CDs at www.theprintedwordinspiration.com. Again, www.theprintedwordinspiration.com. You can also visit us on YouTube. Look for and uh, look, look for the printed word inspiration time. Again, listen to the printed word inspiration time on YouTube. I know you will enjoy listening to these inspiring words. Thank you again. I am Evelyn E. Bass, your 
pulse. See you the next time on the Printed Word Inspiration Time with the sound of victory. Enjoy your week. Jesus is watching you every day. Jesus is watching you so always obey. Obey, obey, obey his word. Obey, obey, and follow him all the way. Jesus is watching you. Jesus is watching you, so always obey. Obey, obey, obey his word. Obey, obey, and follow him all the way. God, he's an almighty God, almighty God, and he's making me hope. Oh, almighty God, he's an almighty God, almighty God, and he lives in my soul. God, and he lives in my soul, and he lives